weeks, I've heard people say, I just can't wait for things to be back to normal. I remember even saying that a few times myself, but as I've thought about our current situation, I have realized how much I don't want things to go back to the way they were. Here are a few thoughts of prayer as to why. I pray that the next time a friend leans in to give me a hug, I actually take the time to appreciate their embrace. I pray that the next time I see a person or situation needing prayer, that I pray as passionately and as fervently as I have these past few weeks. I pray that when I'm at the grocery store, I take a moment to thank God that he provides us with the necessities of life and the amazing people who work so hard to keep us supplied. I pray that when school resumes and I'm dropping my kids off, I take the time to thank the staff for the amazing gift that they give to our family. I pray that the next time I'm standing in church listening to the voices of praise, that I take a moment to thank God for the gift of congregation. I pray that the next time I'm sitting in a crowded restaurant, I take the time to look around at the smiling faces, loud voices, and thank God for the gift of community. I pray that I never again take for granted the ability to hop in the car and visit a friend, go to the mall, or to the park. So truth is, I don't want things to return to the way they once were. I pray that we take the lessons and challenges of the past few weeks and create a new normal. My goal is to pray more, love harder, and truly appreciate the daily abundance of blessings that were so easily overlooked just a mere few weeks ago.